I mean, there is no, there is no denying the fact that he's a national leader, and it takes that position, it takes that role, not only in the states, but in the national. You know, he has interests in the well-being and improvement of the Nigerian dream. And so, by extension, Lagos is a dream that he is passionate about. We will continue to revert to him as a leader. But the most important thing is, I'm in front of you. This is who I am. This is what I've, I've, I've had to come and express to you. And Lagos certainly will be a better place for all of us to be proud of. Thank you. Um, carefully thought out process um, question. But, uh, you know, but the, the truth is I'm not in his shoes. Right. But the truth about the matter is, no, the truth about the matter is what has been generated is a reflection of how people have come to understand and know the person that I am. A whole lot of us, right, have had to, you know, redefine the Lagos project. And it's not a forum where I'll begin to roll to you the very many firsts that people think that were done by some other individual, but there are real people that are behind them that has brought out those initiatives, that has brought out those policies, that has brought out those implementation of various plans, right? And um, there's so many firsts that I can begin to attribute to my name. In the 11 years that I've had to do in the public service, right? Like I said, I've served three governors and at three different ministries, two different times at the governor's office, heading the biggest agency of government. It goes to show that, you know, the blueprint that we've been, having, we've been looking at since 1999, some of us you know, put it together, right? So it's not well, friends, no doubt about that, you know? So it is politics, and this is the era we're into, right? And um, for me, as a 53-year-old man, I think it's now. I mean, when I keep t tell my kids, right, whatever it is you believe in, stay the course, right? So if I cannot also do what I preach, then um, I don't have a space. I will begin to regret when I'm 75. I said I didn't do what I meant to do. Thank you so very yeah, much. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Oh, no. In Abuja now, I certainly cannot know what's happening in Lagos. You know, so be fair to me. You are in, in the media, and so you have access to information that I don't even have, right? So when I get to Lagos, which is where I'm get, get, getting into, if there's a meeting in which the leadership have called, right, I certainly would attend the meeting. So I really don't know, you know, the meeting you're talking about. But in terms of endorsement, it's a work in progress. Right. People are going to ask me questions. People are getting to know the kind of person I am. Right. So I, I certainly will never say that it is Ureka. We're not there yet. It's a journey, right? It's a journey, not a destination. So it will be very preemptive of me, it's very presumptuous of me to stand in front of you and begin to imagine that 57 or something. Then that means I'm going to sleep. No, I don't think so. Right. Mandate is my, my people. We are in the same family. We will continue to work it. It's the Lagosians truly, really, at the end of the day, that has, you know, the bill to pay, right? And we'll ensure that we're not restricted. We'll get to everybody that needs to get to and not take anybody for granted. Thank yeah, you so very much. Thank you.